And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to introduce you to another of our most critical digestive enzymes, amylase, which is something you've heard me mention from time to time. Amylase is a pancreatic enzyme that's also found in saliva, so it's literally one of the first enzymes to come in contact with our food. And this is also one reason to chew your food longer, as the more we chew our food, the more that food is exposed to amylase, which begins almost immediately. Amylase is involved directly in the digestion of sugar, fiber, cellulose, and complex carbs like what we find in raw vegetables and fruit. You can even use amylase therapeutically, and again, this means taking an amylase enzyme on an empty stomach. And when you do, amylase balances histamine levels, and this in turn would provide relief from the watery eyes, runny nose, and stuffed up feeling that you typically experience with seasonal airborne allergies. While enzyme deficiencies can vary from person to person, an amylase deficiency is actually the most common, and it's something I've struggled with for far too long. When your pancreas doesn't produce enough amylase naturally, this can complicate your body's assimilation of simple carbohydrates, and what this feels like can be anything from headaches and constant seasonal airborne allergies to fatigue, brain fog, irritability, and ironically, sugar and carb cravings. Does this sound like anyone you know? I struggled with these same symptoms for years during my time as a sugar addict and never had any practical answer for why I felt like this until I found amylase. Amylase wasn't the only solution to my sugar addiction, but it definitely helped to clear up many of these ugly symptoms. The traditional Japanese food miso, which is a preparation of fermented soy, is naturally rich in amylase, among other enzymes, and Japan's regular consumption of miso facilitates their regular consumption of rice and other natural carbohydrates. As I've told you before, I regularly use amylase when I'm eating something that I know will elevate my blood sugar. Amylase comes in both animal and plant-based forms. As an animal enzyme, it's one-third of what we call pancreatin, which is a combination of protease, amylase, and lipase sourced from the pancreas of either a pig or a cow. These three enzymes are primarily responsible for protein, carb, and fat digestion, and as a plant-based enzyme, amylase is standard to all digestive enzyme formulas, though you would want to look for one with a high dose of amylase, like around 20,000 units or more per serving. Also, remember that like all enzymes, amylase is not measured in milligrams, but in units of potency. And for amylase, those units are known as dexaturnizing units, or simply just DU. You can certainly pair amylase with other enzymes, and in this capacity, amylase works very well with protease, lipase, cellulase, and even the gluten digesting enzyme DPP4. For therapeutic use, you'll likely need a higher dose of amylase, and this can be at least 30,000 units per serving or more, and therapeutic amylase also pairs well with other therapeutic enzymes like serapeptase and natokinase for inflammation balance, among other benefits. And again, remember that therapeutic enzyme use means taking the enzyme on an empty stomach between meals, and so that would be anywhere from two hours after a meal to one hour before a meal. You very likely could experience some energy from taking the amylase, and this energy is actually not coming from the amylase itself, but rather the enzyme's proper digestion of sugar in your bloodstream. So maybe don't take your therapeutic amylase near bedtime. While you shouldn't think of amylase as a license or justification to eat whatever you want, it can provide some critical assistance, however, for the digestion of sugar and carbs. And because sugar and carbs are so prevalent in our modern diet today, I think a daily amylase enzyme is absolutely essential. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.